Character is its salvation. Love of Ahlul Bayt is its salvation and that the Yazid in everyone makes them to come against the holy light of Sayyidina Muhammad make them to come against the holy lights of Ahlul Bayt because of the Yazid within everyone that becomes the representation of satanic character and that has to be taken and purged from the body. So that the love and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad begin to blossom within the heart. And Allah sends us into the schools of the lovers of Ashab al-Nabi Ahlul Bayt al-Nabi and most difficult in this time and the most stressed by Dajjal because of its immense power. The hadith of Dajjal entering and what Dajjal would be doing is that he would go after every Ali, Hassan, Hussein and everyone named Sayyidina Fatima Tazari Salaam, he would be targeting Ahlul Bayt. He didn't say he's going after all the Sahabi's names. He knows that there's a secret from Sayyidina Muhammad within their hearts of what they represent to humanity and what they represent to Sayyidina Muhammad if you get a descendant of somebody, you beat them, attack them verbally, keep going after them, no doubt you are trying to hurt Sayyidina Muhammad So means Dajjal's emphasis is on Ahlul Bayt to seek them, target them, make difficulty for them and to eventually try to destroy them. And what Allah said, Although they try to extinguish the light, they can never extinguish it. Allah will preserve whom Allah wants to preserve. It means there is a special love, a special reality, a special closeness to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad If people only knew, they would have been astonished but because of their bad character then they follow the bad desires of shaitans and they begin to waswas against them. They begin to attack them, they begin to drop their support for them. And this is all from the inspirations of the satanic light that the dajjal is moving on to earth. Just like the light of Sayyidina Mahdi is coming, so is the dajjal's opening and he is going to gather his murids. And his murids, their characteristics are opposite of this teaching. His murids are those whom are against the Ahlul Bayt of Sayyidina Muhammad but they love God, they have no problem. They're going to claim to be lovers of Allah and they're going to claim that they have the path and the way to Allah Almighty. We know that madhab and they went around the world teaching that. So it means his murids they have a characteristic and the murid of Sayyidina Muhammad those following to be under the hand of Sayyidina Mahdi they are ahbab and lovers and that their love is always a sign of their faith and Allah tests the love that if you love and you love and you love but an instant you become angry and belligerent and begin to curse and yell and attack everything about that love, that's a munafiq. A munafiq is one whom claims one thing but immediately becomes something else, means their love was like a, a flower on a rock that it came with one wash it washed away. Real love, no matter how much they're betrayed, they never betrayed. How much they were attacked, they never attacked that one whom love. 
They gave their heart in love, they've been tested with love. Twenty-five years they served with love, thirty years they served with love, no matter how much they were betrayed, they never betrayed. How much they were attacked, they never attacked. How much they were ridiculed, they never ridiculed. It's not just a philosophy, Allah tests them that their love is true. You flip them, squeeze them, hit them, abuse them, they stay in their love. Because the level of their love is sincere. Claiming love and immediately turning to hate, it was like a wild dog. You thought it was tamed and you thought it was something to be nice and pleasant, but as soon as you don't feed it, it will eat your face. It's all over the world we said and we've said many times, reminder for myself, these war zones, they said more gruesome than the war was what the creatures were doing to insan. That those people who thought those creatures were their pets, they were eating them. And that's why tariqah comes to teach that it's not what you think that you're nice, you're polite, you're kind and you're loving. But when Allah make it to be difficult and hard and harsh that your love never changed, your words never came out to be a symbol of the change of your faith. And this is our struggle today. This is what Allah is, is, is bringing upon this earth is tremendous difficulty, immense calamity. If you think you're over it, the wave has just begun. It's about a hundred feet high now. What you're seeing of difficulty is when the ocean pulls back. Because you say, oh the ocean was here, my goods were here, property was here, money was here, jobs were here. But before a tidal wave the ocean begins to pull back and you say, where's my ocean now? And that's what people are asking now, where's the dunya, where's this, the stores, where's my job, where's my work? And the thing is over, no it's just pulling back and now a tsunami is coming. And then you begin to mo you, you observe as seekers of the path, we are observers. People want to know like what type of extraterrestrial power you have <laughs> or what type of supernatural abilities you have, that's, that's a side reality. But they're observers, Allah gave them a heart in which to observe. That they look and they look at the signs of humanity and Ya Musabib al Asbab, Allah is the one whom causes every condition. And Mufatiha Abwaab, that every condition has a door. You don't just test creation, but you shake and bake them and then present doors. Which door is it that you want through this difficulty? So what we're observing and people can observe is they see this difficulty entering into the earth and everybody's running for sumak. They want a solution, they want a remedy, they want every type of, I'll drink this, I smoke this, I blow this on my face, I'll wear this, I'll put every type of difficulty or every type of remedy and they didn't really get it. What happened now is Allah opening the door to His Divinely Kingdom. He said that as a rahmah because I sent Sayyidina Muhammad as a rahmah and you're under the flag of the last of messengers in this dunya. Otherwise I would have destroyed this creation with one shout. <coughs> Look at the people of Pompeii and other nations. In one shout Allah destroyed them that they're frozen with their ashes. And Allah give as a rahman and a mercy, I'm sending one, you have to turn this one on a little bit, yeah. They're worried about asteroids coming to dunya. 
I send one little tiny virus that entered into this atmosphere. Just as soon as it entered into this atmosphere, it shook the whole of dunya. Not armies, not planes, not trillions of dollars in warfare. An unseen virus entered into this earth. And what Allah described that when the kingdom of my Lord is coming down, when the truth wants to be established upon earth, every falsehood will begin to shake and be obliterated and everything collapsing, collapsing, collapsing. Now whether Allah makes it a final collapse or this is just the warning collapse, for us it's the one whom is seeking and continuously observing that you're causing a condition Allah Ya Rabbi, what is it that you want from me? And what he wants is that my kingdom is in front of you. Are you prepared to meet me? Are you prepared to be with Sayyidina Muhammad and do you believe that will be your destination? Talk is cheap. Those whom talked and they harmed people and burned people and cut the hands of people, you should be very scared to meet Allah right now. Those whom lied and drank and put all sorts of uh, things all over their body and say, yeah we represent God, you should be very scared right now. Those whom their character was good and their character was loving and they propagated the way of love through what Allah wanted, we represent the Muhammadan door. The way to the haqqaiq of Sayyidina Muhammad we live the life in which to be with Sayyidina Muhammad So it wasn't about running and try this one, drink this one, take a video, send this, do this, eat this, spray this. This was about are you at the threshold and at the holy feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Are you good with Prophet Are you happy with Prophet Are you loving Sayyidina Muhammad and do you believe Prophet is loving you, that you did your best, that your money won't save you in its accounts? Did you do everything that you could to propagate that love? Did you spend your time, your wealth, your ability, everything about yourself, did you really give it and put it and be of service to that reality? If not Allah giving this time. So don't worry about sumak, don't worry about all these things. Worry about meeting my Divinely Presence, entering to my Divinely Kingdom. That I want only my head to be at the threshold and that they be happy and ridha with me and that I be granted into their Kingdom and that I be granted a, a position of, of love and grace that Allah to be happy with me. We pray that Allah inspire our hearts Ameen. towards this goodness and not to be panicking, just to be worried that are we good with Allah did we do all that we can? If we did Allah inspire then do your goodness, do your prayers, do your zakat, do your, your du'as, do all of these things and leave the rest in Allah's hands. And be happy to meet with Allah be happy to enter into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not about running away but whatever our fate is, is to face it. But face it with good character, with good actions and a, a loving heart. For if a heart should enter into that presence with badness and bad character and the worst of badness is to come against the light of Sayyidina Muhammad we pray that Allah dress us on this holy night of the birth of Sayyid al-Shuhada, the one whom represented truth and saw nothing but qam, saw nothing but grievance. That they, they, they asked to be guided and then they attacked him. 
and it doesn't stop. Everywhere is Karbala and everyone is a Yazid when it comes to them. Sayyidah Shuhada means the one whom he's the master of those who see. There's not a wali or a servant that want to become from Ahlul Basira that Sayyidina Imam al Husayn has to sign. If they don't know, they didn't receive it. And imagine his descendant is the one who teaches how to see. Then people have to be very careful on how they deal with people. You have eyes but you don't see, you have ears and you don't hear. What's the difference? They are deaf, dumb and blind. Whom blind in this world will be raised to be blind in the hereafter. This way was about tafakkur and contemplation. The signs are everywhere that with their love we took their struggle and in their struggle they taught, this dunya will never be easy for you. People will be jealous and hasad of your light and that you inherit from our way a way of struggle. Not from unbelievers but from believers, they didn't have difficulty from unbelievers. Their difficulty was from those who claimed belief. Means you struggle in the way of Allah only for the sake of Allah and His Rasul Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Sayyidina Shuhada salam be happy with us, dress us, bless us, give us istiqam and firmness. It's not easy to say that you love them but to be dressed by their character. That no matter what faced them, they moved into it. Odds that are not understandable but with love and muhabbat and the firm back, they move into difficulty. That to keep an upright character and keep all of the characteristics of Sayyidina Muhammad of whatever is possible in this dunya. So Allah dress us and bless us on this holy night. Tomorrow Sayyidina Abbas salam. the next day after that and tomorrow we'll do both and all these two nights for Imam Zain al Abideen and for Imam Sayyidina Abbas salam that Allah dress us and bless us. The chivalry and the character of Sayyidina Abbas salam, the nobility and the du'a and the purity of heart of Imam Sajjad that spent his life in sujood that making du'a that would shake the throne of Allah that the descendants of Sayyidina Muhammad if the beauty and the reality of Islam and Iman and Ihsan came like a, a fertile garden with Sayyidina Muhammad his Ahl al-Bayt were its signs. That if you thought the immensity and the beauty of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad he gave his Ahlul Bayt to be the signs of that garden. By witnessing what they brought into this dunya, you understood the magnificent status of Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> Its realities through Imam Jafar as-Sadiq, the, the hukum and the realities that were brought through these Ahlul Bayt is nothing that can be understood. But what you did understand was the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad They brought out the magnificent status of the reality that maybe was not understood fully but through these beautific flowers and all of us are still taking from their fragrance and their love. We pray Allah dress us from their light and from their love inshaAllah. And the love of Ashab al Nabi Sallallahu Awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard. But tonight is their night and the focus is on their reality inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. InshaAllah we'll recite in English what we're about to recite. It's on the app Salawat al-Nariya, it's posted on our pages. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, 
Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.